spirit of Antichrist is growing by leaps and bounds. I just heard about this thing, this Jesus revolution that's released here this month, February of 2023, and it has this Kelsey Grammer guy in it of the TV show Frasier. I used to watch that many years ago. And he's a pastor, and he's got a conservative church and everything else, and they, they bring in the hippies, and they, they uh, bring rock music into the church and all the stuff, and there are people that are, um, you know, against it and, and whatever else and the old people like this guy here he's you know this isn't right and whatever you know um very interesting uh again it's the whole thing of experience over doctrine um that's what the antichrist is the whole world's going to worship the beast and i saw this thing um there was a doctor documentary uh, out of the shadows or something like this and it and they were basically saying in there different people from hollywood were saying what if we could use Hollywood someday for truth, for bringing out good things? And I was thinking, I know what you mean by that. They're going to use Hollywood to promote the Antichrist system. And now there's all this Jesus entering the new, the uh, mainstream and everything. And, you know, a Bible believer, we just look and say, okay, what's well, highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Uh, the friend of the world is the enemy of God. Jesus is hated by the world. But see, the modern professing Christian, those wicked people, what they want is to be popular and accepted by the world. And they don't even realize it, but they're actually walking into accepting the Antichrist system that's coming. And so you have this Hollywood movie here. But then I saw something else which is rather interesting. And that is the thing of the uh, Remnant TV here, which is a traditional Catholic um, uh, magazine. And, you know, or not magazine, I guess newspaper that they put out. And it's also... Um, he has a YouTube channel there, but him and Nicholas uh, Fuentes and a bunch of other trad cats have been all of a sudden the, the FBI is going after them. And uh, there was a video I saw here, a guy, some of you had talked about him, you know, uh, Doug and Stacy off grid. And he had a video, this is where I heard about this. Um, see if I can find it here quick in my search history. They talked about... Uh, Research. Here, if I can get it. Excuse me for a minute while I get this. All right, we're off here with Douglas. Okay. Let me bring this over here. And um, he has it here. Yeah, why are they targeting Christians right here? And he gets into the fact that, that the FBI is now going after traditional Latin mass Catholics, and he calls them Christians. And I put it in the comments of his video. I said, they're not Christians. It's all part of the bigger movement of um, this bringing in the alt-right system. So the Antichrist system is going to be popularizing Jesus in mainstream culture, but it's not the Jesus of the Bible. It's going to be traditional Catholicism, liberal Catholicism, all joining together. And we have this Eucharistic year of the Eucharist thing or whatever else. It's moving into high gear, brethren. Uh, how much time do we have left? I have no idea. Before the Lord comes back and says, okay, catches his bride away. Can't wait for that time. I hope it's not very much longer. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of things that I think are going to have to happen and come in and whatever else before we can go. But um, when I did my study about alive and remain, the body of Christ, you know, what you know, we which are alive and remain, and I said, I don't think it's going to be a lot of people that go up at the catching up. Um, I can see some things taking shape. And the anger that I'm getting from these little uh, professing Christians at the Asbury Revival, the Catholic thing, they are filled with hatred. Absolute, total hatred. You condemn their system and they just instantly, they, it's, oh, you've blasphemed the Holy Spirit. You've committed the unpardonable sin. You should die. You know, burn them at the stake kind of a thing. I can see it. I can see it coming. So what do we do as Bible believers? Um, should be fairly obvious. Stand by the Bible and don't back down no matter what happens. Um, but uh, just another sign of it getting a lot closer to, to the time when we go home. So that will be it. Stay strong. Stand by the King James Bible. Don't be fooled by the emotions and the, the lore to draw you into the world and Oh, they're accepting Christianity now, and people are starting to talk about Jesus. No, they're starting to talk about the Antichrist.
Okay, the world has always hated Jesus Christ, and they always will hate Jesus Christ. They will always hate the King James Bible and those who read the King James Bible and worship Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.